What's up guys, Apollo here, and welcome to a gameplay commentary over some Team Fortress 2. Today I'll be playing on uh, CP Badlands. I think it's Badlands if it's not. Uh, correct me on that. But I think it is. I'm um, using the Pyro. And oh my god, what? This is an awesome game play right here. Uh, this gun, the Phlogistonator, is a right machine. So let me just get into what I am using. I'm using the Phlogistonator, which came in the winter update, the Detonator, which is the flare gun, and the, for my melee, is Sharpened uh, Volcano Fragment. So, um, sorry if you can hear the ringing, and I failed right here, I just thought I'd put that in there because it was really funny. I, I panicked, and I swapped to my Detonator, and I taunted, and then it didn't charge it, so... What the, um... A phlogistonator does is all fire damage charges and um, MIMF activate to refill health and crit for several seconds. No random, the downside of it is no random critical hits and no air blasts. So it is really, really good gun. Overpowered, I'm not sure. The new back burner, I'm not sure, but it is an amazing gun. See the bar there above my ammo? That is the himp fire. So when you taunt and that's full, you get crits and it refills all your health so you can just go in here and just dominate the enemy team like I just do here I just go to town on these guys quad <laughs> and yeah just make sure that we that we have the point and keep them at their spawn and keep them back from the point now the reason I'm not I'm using the detonator and look this guy sees <laughs> me running and he runs away I thought that was hilarious and the reason I'm using the detonator is any fire damage towards any enemies will increase your hymph bar. Look, see? Heavy, sh uh, heavy shooting at me. Doesn't kill me. He goes to the medic and he gets owned in the face. I think he kills the medic, but uh, look at this. And uh, I eventually die with back burner book or something. I don't know what I... Yeah, I think it was a back burner. And yeah, whatever. I just dominated. I cut out the respawn time, but yeah, I just dominated. Oh my god. If you do not have the phlogistonator, it's amazing. And I didn't buy it. I am... Um, I traded it for a Spicical Mad Milk crate and some other melee weapon. But I got the Mad Milk straight away uh, back. I crafted it again because I love that for the scout. So I just, it was okay. And I, right here I get into a war with the NG and I just realized that I had no weapons. I could shoot underwater except the melee weapon. So I go back, he goes back in and I go after him and I give him a chop. So I think, I'm not sure. But I'm not sure, uh, no actually, I, and, oh yeah, and I get trapped here. And I, w I was like pressing taunt, and hopefully, I hoped it would work underwater, but uh, sadly it didn't. But now, what I wanted to say was, if you you if you shoot like the detonator and you burn someone, or you hit them with the volcano fragment, or with the phlogistonator, the the humph bar that I was on about, it fills up, and then you can have crits. So if you use any of the weapons, it will fill up your bar. And I tried to burn the heavy and then like walk away so it could fill up my hump fire as he was dying and burning. So I just skipped me walking to this, the same route that I took before. <clears throat> so grabbing some health here. And um, if you, you, you just get, you should get this. It's like 749 in the Manco store and I got it lucky by the trade. But oh yeah, and I wanted to mention this. This, if you, every time I see a pyro and I'm a pyro. And I have a flamethrower, the degreaser. I just walk away because the effort to kill him is just so hard. Like you can't kill him. But this, if you one you want a pyro, this will own him, no problem. Unless he is really, really good, or else he has you from he surprises you from behind with the back burner, or he blows you off a cliff with the degreaser. And um, we win this round here, which was. Uh, fantastic, but if he blows you like off a cliff, if there's a cliff map and he blows you off, well then you can do that. If you use uh, this weapon with the pocket medic, it is better than heavy. It'll just dominate you. I dominated the other team today on Harvest. Really awesome. They were like, oh my god, and <laughs> it was funny. Later on in this map, uh, Matt, see, he he caught me from surprise, and I owned him. And I only lost like 75 health. Um, but yeah, later on in the smash, uh, some guy like typed, get skill, uh, or why don't you buy skill, bro? And I was like, 
I don't need it because I have it or something. I don't know what I said, but <laughs> it was funny. So, yeah, pop in the crits again by the taunt. And uh, I think you can take damage, but the downside is no air blast. But I don't use air blast anyways, I guess. But so uh, this gun is not overpowered. And I will tell you why. The reason is Demoman can beast this pyro. Um, soldiers can beast the pyro. I don't know what else can, but that's basically the two classes. If he uses sticky bombs in the right way, and I just go to town on these guys. I really enjoyed this gun. It's amazing. And um, you can, like, take on a heavy or anything. But, yeah, uh, the soldiers can just shoot rockets at you, but try and avoid the soldiers and only kill them if you're, like, critted or something. Well, I guess you can. If you're from behind, that's a perfect way. But, yeah. This is, uh, it's coming, the gameplay is coming to an end, um, I will do more gameplays of Pyro and the Plogistinator, because I have so much, because I dominated so many people on it, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, we'll see you guys later, bye.